Up to the end of lion, we taking all flying high. Follow us now for guidance. Up to the end of lion, up to the end of lion, we got the best advice. Keep it real, no lion. Up to the end of lion, 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 we got what you need. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's the Obsidian Alliance here, and today we are. Hmm. And I guess this is an interesting topic to say the least. Um, why do people think that um, intercourse, I guess that's the proper way to say it, you know, YouTube algorithm and such. Why do people think intercourse saves relationships? Um, this topic has been brought to you by V. Blair Thomas um, to us. So I'm going to let him open up and, you know, let's get the ball rolling. All right, people. Everybody has had a situation or know someone who's been in a situation where it's either the man or the woman or both probably can't stand each other, but they're still screwing. And when you ask them about said situation, they either make excuses of why they don't have ended things or they continue to talk junk or whatever the case may be. And considering that these two have known a couple of my situations, I'm gonna go ahead and be honest. I have been this person before. And I think what it is, at least for me, it's being too comfortable, where you're comfortable with the fact that no one's addressing issues and we're just screwing. So you're getting your physical satisfaction without the emotional distress of having the conversation of why we're still screwing. Two, there's some good days mixed in with the bad. So it's just like, eh, you got on my nerves on Monday and by Friday, you, you probably did something or came over or whatever the case may be. And I, yeah, okay. Or, the passive aggressive route where people just bury it underneath the rug and don't speak about it. Now, I, for my situation, I have learned that I, that I, I just, I, I can't because eventually it'll boil over and I will snap as these two both have seen. So for me, I know now that I just, I, I just can't, if I can't tolerate you in certain aspects, then I shouldn't sleep with you anymore. I just shouldn't do that. But there are a lot of people, especially our age or younger, that don't, they don't care how long or how often the toxicity spills over and they just continue to do it. And I'm wondering to myself, just like, well, I saw it. So there's no way to say, you can't say I'm on the outside looking in because I was in there. I was, I was that. I saw the issues and then eventually decided to do something about them. But I guess my, my concern is a lot of these people eventually is just way too long. Like you're two, three years, four years in and you, you don't even like the person anymore. Mm. And it's just like, you haven't discussed why or you did discuss why you didn't get the answer you wanted. And it's like, what, why? Why continue to sleep with someone that's either one, not respecting you, not respecting your mind, but it come, I think, I, I think the main thing is it just comes with a lot of trauma. A lot of people our age, especially, they're not facing their trauma. They just, they're, they're burying it underneath the rug and they're just sprinkle, they'll sprinkle some sex on there to get rid of the pain. Like they'll, they'll salt base some sex on there real quick. <laughs> and it's just like, it don't work. And maybe they think they'll get that spark back. Cause that's a lot of an excuse I hear the, like, Oh, the, the spark will come back. If we, if we set the candles up and, and we go to a hotel or we go out of town, we'll, we'll get that spark back. But honestly, 
or at least for in my situation, once the spark is gone, I, 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 sometimes I don't even have the desire to get it back. I, it's difficult because <laughs> because if it was just if it was something such as simple as physical, then you know sex could bring it back because sex makes you feel wanted and you know it's a physical attraction you know things of that nature but if you already have like mental things going on financial things going on that can't be solved with love well i say love in the term of sex that can't be solved in physical intimacy that's something you actually have to face um sex can solve a lot of things Sex can also push back a lot of things. Um, um, but eventually, as you said, you have to eventually face it. Um, but it's hard, like, like for you, for example, Blair, um, you were with somebody for five years. Um, it is hard to find someone that is mm -hmm. for that long that knows you that well. Um, sex can be bombed, so they know exactly how to please you properly. Um, we know the dating world today. It's been a lot of trial and error since then. <laughs> <laughs> so it's hard to find somebody that, that, and for me personally, I've had one where it wasn't forced. It's only been one, it's only been like, in my lifetime, there's only been, I can count on one hand where the spark was natural. You don't find that often to where there's no, there's no having to force it. There's no having to try to run game. There's no having to set up and things of that nature where it was just like, okay, I'm in there. We're talking, it's natural, there's nothing forced, there's nothing, it is, it's hard to find that. And it's definitely hard to find that again. Like I said, I've been on this planet for 33 years. I started talking and liking females when I was about 10 or 11. So that's technically 23 years of liking females on that type of level. And it's only been on one hand, how many I found that are natural to where the intercourse was good, the conversation was going, and it's hard to find that again. So when you find that, when you find that, even though the love is draining or gone, but the intimacy is still good, you, you like you said, you, you're comfortable. There's dating life, and hard, dating life is hard in 2021. There is so, there are so many variables and things, not only just as women that have to go through with crappy men, but for us as men, like, cause we're the, we're the trans, we're the, it's not like Gen X where you still had the flavorings of the old school, good, bad, or ugly. And, you know, or our grandparents where it was literally you got hit if you made casserole wrong or you got flowers brought to your door. Like we're the transitional generation to where it's like, we're still trying to figure out the dating game for the next generation because what we're looking back in the past isn't working anymore. So it's just, it's hard for us because we're, we're the transitional generation. And then, you know, people like your sister who are younger than you are trying to look to you and it's like, we don't have the answers because we're still stuck. We're, the younger generation is now in the hookup culture. <laughs> like, hookup culture in the younger generation, flowers, cards, and candy in the older generation, and we're in the middle like, I, I, I like this, and I like this too, but we can't find a way to mix it, and it works. And it's just like, so I'd rather be comfortable where I'm at. Just like for me, I've been single for seven years and I'm comfortable where I'm at. Cause I don't wanna, cause it's, it's hard. I don't wanna have to go through the stress of a relationship, but then I hate being lonely sometimes and it sucks. So it's just- but, 
let me let me go ahead and give you let me go ahead and give you some insight on that loneliness because that that's my kryptonite. That's my kryptonite right there. And it's not the fact that I'm not comfortable being by myself. It's when those moments of damn, I don't have nobody to talk to. <laughs> I, and I just and it's not like I'm not thinking about doing anything to myself. I'm just bored. All I do is work. I mean, because if I'm not hanging out with Brooks, you out of town, why it's busy. So I don't got nothing to do. And so with boredom comes bad decisions or the old saying, an idle mind is the devil's playground. Because <laughs> yeah. that's when you start looking like, huh, I haven't hit her up in a while. <laughs> She's up to real quick. Or, uh, she she hearted my picture instead of liking it. Let's go ahead and DM her real quick, see what she got going on. And it's just that, like, that is what, in, in my situation sometimes, is just like, that gets the ball rolling and then those old feelings come back or maybe the feelings never blossomed in the first place and now they do. And, um, you know, that, that, could, that could also lead to it. But I think how, how we can nip it in the butt really is the communication piece and sticking to what you say. Stick to what you say. If I say... I'm not screwing you anymore because I don't like how you treat me when we're not screwing, like on a regular day. But then you fall back and say, oh, I'm lonely. I know I can get it up right here. And then boom. But you have to stick to what you say is stick to your guns. But, you know, I think everybody, everybody's looking for that person that they can be comfortable with. I don't think it's more so. I'm not looking the the, the Disney fairy tale BS. I, no, I don't even know. That's gone. Yeah, but no, I I was never looking. It's about it's about familiarity and it's about being comfortable. I want to be able to be comfortable. So, you know, walk around. We could both walk around. You know, half naked or naked eating junk food, watching movies. We go out and go to a nice restaurant or, or, or Waffle House. We have a good time and it, 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 it's simplicity, but simplicity, before you get to the simplicity, there's always complications. And I think that's where a lot of us are getting just like lost out there a little bit. Cause everything is going in the straight and narrow. Y'all meet, y'all talk, y'all go on dates. And then when we get right here, the, this is the physical. This is where it's like, okay, so which, which direction are <laughs> which we going we at, after the physical? And then what do we always say? Gentlemen, the three of us always say this. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Don't look like, like, like if we're in the friend zone, leave my ass there. Don't put me down here, then put me up here, then put me back, leave my ass there. And it's just like, that's, and I think that's what also plays along with it. It's just like, people don't understand or some people might believe in it, but when you do get intimate with somebody, you are transferring energy. Yeah, it's a negative, but that's what I feel like a lot of people are transferring the negative and that's why you have all these toxic people just having sex and the sneaky links and the married people because they're just they're just so used to it that they don't know how to actually communicate when they actually have somebody that's trying to be there so it's just like oh he's ignoring me let me see why and then oh i'm gonna do this or vice versa she's ignoring me let me see why and then they go back to doing it. And it's just like, if y'all really don't care for each other, why are y'all doing it? Like, just getting a nut off does not solve anything, especially like like how we all been saying, if you don't really care for the person and don't want to be around them or talk to them 24 seven, but then when you get that itch, then you call them, that's negative. That's, that's negative energy. And it's just, you know what's crazy? We've made sneaky leak a trend. Like, Oh, no, not we, them. 
I, I'm I'm partaking that type of stuff. It's just like, you know, uh, like intercourse can only solve one thing: intimacy. The only thing it solves. It doesn't solve doesn't solve up here. Doesn't solve in here. The only thing that sex and intercourse solves is the physical aspect. And you stick like that's only one third of a relationship. Not, not even. I think it's more like one fifth. If we're dividing. Because it's just. Yeah. And you know what? It, I think it might have to do with the fear of rejection. If you if you if you try going on five dates and all five flopped, but you know there's this person over here who still wants your attention, doesn't beg for it, but they still want it, and you start thinking to yourself like, oh, I, should I hit her up? Maybe she hit you up, you know? And then the, the questions start flowing. Oh well. How you been doing? Uh, what you been up to? Or uh, do, you know, you miss me? Uh, well, hey, why you ask? Why you ask me if I miss you? Do you miss me? And then there you go, right there. Well, I miss you a little bit. Like I, and then there you go, right there. Having intercourse does not solve what needs to be solved. Just, but I mean, it's it's still important in the relationship yeah, no, if you're doing. It's no, no, of course. It has its place. It does. It's, it has it, its place. Talking and getting to know, dating, relationship. Stop right there. Career. Go back two steps. Dating, relationship. Go back. At, right before it. Talking, dating, that right there, right, right there. That's when people typically get intimate, and that's the problem. That's the problem right there. You are getting intimate with someone that you don't really know. Hence, why I say, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. But then people be like, "Well, well, Blair, why didn't you turn it down? Does a dog turn down a bone? No." Does a bird turn down some bread? No. So if I'm attracted to you. That down. Huh? I don't think any sane man turns that down. Well, don't, if, don't say men, because women I like it just as much as men. Sane man. Well, of course, if she's all, I'm saying if she offers. <laughs> so <laughs> just like. <sighs> I don't know. People just want to go from the talking to the relationship stage and just and forget there's a whole stage in between. Like, <laughs> like, because like, you're not gonna be like. I don't understand how y'all get into relationships and y'all only known each other for like two weeks. I don't understand that. Like, or 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 even three months. Honestly, I I don't understand. Like, well, I I could say in three months. Three months should be the minimum. Because you can get to know somebody to a certain extent where you pick up on certain behaviors within that time frame. Like, the only way I could see that, like, and I'll give myself a perfect example. Ah. I was dating this chick, um, call her, well, well, anyways, I was talking to this chick, and we seen each other, hell, fuck it, I'm going to say the name, fuck it, Sammy. Anyway. We'll do it. <laughs> uh. Um, I was talking this ev no, every single day, like it was, we meet every day, every week, and it would be hours constantly on time. Like, that's the only way that I could see somebody like being like, okay, after like, after like a month or so, yeah, because I've literally, well, well, that, that's, that's, I was in the military too. So we would literally see each other every day. So, well, that's what I in three months. If you guys are on a consistent basis and actually communicating to the likens, I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just like how we saying, I met you on fucking, I met you on, uh, oh, whatever. 
And then two <laughs> days later, I talk about, hey, come over to my house. Oh, we're not going to do nothing. But then when I come to your house, you have liquor, you have candles. <laughs> and lingerie. Like, what? Or, or you have the you have the mismatch socks with the with the boy shorts on and it's in a in a long tank top t-shirt. Like, like I, I granted, I know what's going on, but you said we wasn't gonna do anything. So I came to chill and exactly. you know like, and then to and watch then, the walking you know, dead. I find that funny because a lot of a lot of females don't understand that when we say chill, nine out of ten, I'm pretty sure we mean chill. Like it doesn't always, yeah, I might find you attractive and I might flirt and say some outrageous stuff. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, if you already made that decision that we ain't going to do nothing, then it's in my head. I'm just chilling when we come and chill. Like it doesn't need to be just because I said this and that doesn't mean I'm legitly going to be like, yeah, I'm a dog and I'm blah, blah, blah. Nah. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Who don't like talking a little, you know, a little risky once in a while. But if I really come to you, I'm really coming to you to chill. If you take that extra step, then you take the extra step. Don't, like I said, I'm going to turn it down. But I legitimately mean I'm coming to chill. <laughs> but, then, but then again, females say we are a different breed anyway. So, uh, <laughs> and this is why we're all where we're at right now, because we're all a different breed. So, and mm, never mind. I was going to say something, but nope, I'm not going to go there. Um, y'all are, women are very, very confusing, confusing creatures. Um, no, what, that, don't do that. You're, you're, you're spewing hatred right now. You're, you're, you're hating. Y'all are very confusing. That. Men are stupid and women are confusing. This is why we don't, this is why we can't get each other sometimes. So anyway. I don't even think it, it's not about being stupid. Is if I literally ask you a question, just answer the shit. Like, that's it. If I say... How do you feel today? You know, and I literally had this conversation the other day. You know, someone asked me, what do I mean by how do you feel? And I got so angry. <laughs> what do you mean, what do I mean? How do you feel? But you know what it is? It's what, what causes that. And this is for both men and women is because when they do go out there and date, they end up with a lot of ain't shit people. So when it comes to us and we actually are legit on what we're saying and actually mean it, they think about it like, why is he saying it like that? Or why does he blah, blah, blah. Like they, they, they put it in their mind because they've been through so much toxic stuff that it mentally like messes them up. Like, oh, is he being serious? Why, why is she doing it that way and not this way? And it, it just it's just a back and forth in their head. So it's just like, when you actually come genuine to the table, people don't know how to take it anymore because a lot of people aren't genuine no more. Confusing creatures. <laughs> but no, um, intercourse sex does not save relationships. The only thing that saves relationships is actually communication. Yep. Active listening, communication, and, and comprehension. And actually will to actually compromise and get get it together. Not not one person to get it together. Both of y'all getting it together. Communication and F and communication and emotional intelligence. That's the only thing that saves relationships. But that has been this topic before we go too far off the line. <laughs> Once again, this is the City Alliance. And of course, as always, if you need guidance, come seek the Alliance. Peace.